Hello there, and welcome to Netlinks Daily. It is the last day of CES. I don't want to go home, but all things must come to an end, including intros. Thanks, MKBHD, for that wonderful intro. Now, on to the news. Intel has finished their work on a 64-bit version of Android 4.4 KitKat. The OS variant is destined for their Silvermont processor architecture, which has powered tablets under the name Baytrail and will now be used in smartphones under the name of Merrifield. The Linux kernel that Android runs on has actually supported 64-bit architectures for some time, so we'll have to see what Intel has done with the code when Merrifield smartphones ship later this year. EA and DICE posted a short message on Battlelog yesterday, announcing the next update for Battlefield 4 will release later this month. There were no details on what the update will address, but tweets from DICE developers have pointed towards a rebalancing of the game's weapons and and vehicles. So soon you can feel better about the fact that you just got killed fair and square right before your game crashes to desktop. And, and Samsung is going to try and one-up the iPhone 5S and 5C's fingerprint reader with an iris scanner on the upcoming Galaxy S5. The company is also considering a three-sided display for the upcoming Galaxy Note 4, whatever that means. The company says they're going back to basics with the phones, which is why an advanced sensor that analyzes your unique eye signature makes sense. The S5 will release alongside a new Galaxy Gear model in April. All right, that's it for Netlink Daily, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more tech news, reviews, and tutorials. We can't wait to come back to CES next year. Maybe by then, Keys will actually remember people's names.